Yep. All right, so uh, basically uh, this is a, a ping pong ball cannon. Uh, there is a ping pong ball in here and uh, we're gonna suck all the air out and uh, create a vacuum in this PVC pipe and uh, then I'm gonna take the scissors, I'm gonna pop the tape on the back and the air pressure is gonna push the uh, ping pong ball through uh, the ping pong ball cannon. <clears throat> and we are gonna ultimately demonstrate uh, Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia, which, uh, which claims that an object in motion, which will be the uh, ping pong ball, uh, wants to maintain a constant motion uh, and an object at rest uh, with a little bit of mass will be this uh, monster can with a slash attached to it. Uh, <laughs> will be at rest and it wants to maintain its rest. So we have, a, uh, we have a dilemma where the ping pong ball wants to continue its motion and the can wants to maintain its rest motion. And uh, we'll have to see how Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia comes into play here. All right, so I will turn on my, uh, my vacuum pump. And it will uh, suck all the air out. my scissors and uh, I will line this up with uh, my monster can and uh, it's pointed right at Slash. Not that I find him offensive in any way. <laughs> I have no ill will towards him but it will be a cool hole when it goes in there. Alright, so let's find out what happens. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you can see that uh, the ping pong ball, if you want to bring that over here, uh, the ping pong ball uh, maintained its constant motion uh, through the can, and the can wanted to maintain its uh, stay at rest. And when this happened, the ping pong ball flew through uh, the aluminum can, and uh, that's Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion continues in its motion, and an object at rest wants to maintain its rest.